Happy June 25th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party explored the ruins of an ancient temple beneath the swamp outside the town of Mudbrook. We found a few small stashes of treasure, a health potion, a handful of amber, um, and some meal rations of <laughs> food uh, that's been here a while in a soggy, slimy cavern that smells of mildew. I'm sure it's fine, so we added it to our inventory. We'll give it to the new guy. We stopped here at Area 5, a passage that leads through a massive open door beyond which we hear clicking. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. More crabs. <laughs> okay. Colossal crabs emerge through the open doorway, their carapaces and claws covered in mud and algae. They scuttle forward with sharp eyes fixed on you, seemingly considering you as their next meal. Okay, we're fighting five crabs. Uh, attack, damage, defense, that looks like the normal stuff. So, let's see, enemy one. Here we go. Uh, the crab snaps its large claw at you, trying to catch you in its powerful grip. We want to beat a defense of 15. Let's move some stuff around here. And, uh, here, here we go. Attack. 17 plus 7 is 24. We hit him easily. Now we want to do 8 damage, and we roll 2d10. Where are my 10-sided die? Here's one. Uh, here's the other. 18 points of damage. We take him out. Enemy 2 has a defense of 14. So we want to hit 14, 15. We easily hit him. Uh, it lashes out with, with its other claw, attempting to slash at you with its sharp pincers. I guess, um, okay. The other claw. Uh, we want to do 11 points of damage. Nine. We did not defeat him, so now we want to defend against an 11. We get a plus 7 on our defense roll. 6 plus 7 is 13. We do defend, so we take one point of damage, which takes us down to 22. I'm going to write it over here in case we take more. Okay. Enemy 3. The crab raises its body and attempts to crush you under its weight. We want to hit a defense of 16. We rolled an 18. We easily hit it. We want to do 7 points of damage. And we get it. Just 7. Alright. Enemy 3 defeated. Enemy 4 has a defense of 14. It sprays a jet of water from its mouth, trying to knock you off balance and disorient you. Okay. 2 plus 7 is 9. Can we get 5 more points? I don't think so. Um attack we do have a combat tonic um ooh, i don't think we're gonna eke five out of this we have our plus one but even even still uh i guess we could we could try enid and see what well, enid would get us two points that would get us to 11. we'd still need three what does the combat tonic do i don't think that's a die roll so i don't think that helps our Oh no, it is a D4, so we would get at least two out of that. Okay, let's try it. Where's Enid? Enid, we need some help with our attack roll. Um, here we go. Enid. Oh, she just adds one to attack. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we'd need a three or better. Why not? Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to save all this stuff for, um, I think we're headed towards, we're looking for the, uh, the second of the ancient guardians. And I have a feeling we're coming up on him pretty soon. And uh, if it's a battle like it was with that serpent, we're going to want all of our <laughs> tools at our disposal. So uh, we're going to go ahead and say we don't, hit this guy if you hit and damage if you miss okay so it's 
He's going to attack us. We want to defend against an attack of 15. 5 plus 7 is 12. Can we get three more points of defense? We have a ward. We have two warding limits. We have Sky. Um, oh, Ivy has Luminous Shield. Uh, use one surge, add d4 to a single defense roll. Um, do surges. You have three surges you can use to um, activate surge abilities. Regain all surges at beginning of each page. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to definitely use Luminous Shield. That is one surge. We get a d4. We do add our plus one for solar infusion. So what do we get here? One. <laughs> so two, seven, uh, plus seven is 14. Can we get one more? We need one more point. Um, here we go, Sky. Let's see. If <laughs> one point. Um, we do have a warding ointment. That would get us. Uh, but again, I'd like to save that stuff. So here's Sky. We get... Um, plus two defense if we draw a diamond that is seven or better. Here we go. Oh, we got a diamond, but it's not seven or better. Three. So, um, should we use a warding ointment? What does the warding ointment do? Consumed on use add plus two. So that would do it. Let's go ahead and let's yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Warding ointment. So we use one of our warding ointments. We're down to one warding ointment. Uh, but that means we only take partial damage from this enemy. Uh, one more point of damage. So 21 health. Okay. Enemy 5. The crab scuttles sideways quickly, attempting to slam into you with its tough shell. We want to beat a defense of 16. We rolled a 16 plus 7. We easily hit it. We want to try to do 9 damage or more. When we do, that's 11. We take out the 5th crab. So we killed 3 crabs. Um, if you did not kill all the... If you did not kill all the crabs, they flee from you in terror. If you killed 3 enemies, collect D4 plus 1 amber. That's right. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, D4... Plus one, amber, two. <laughs> so that takes us to 26. So we rolled one plus one is two. Okay. Well, I believe that's everything. So that, my friends, is June 25th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.